this is not how we imagined our weekend to be. What kind of plans did we have for the weekend? Actually, we're going to go to a space launch. Super excited, right? One. I'm super excited. <laughs> okay, what it turned into is an estate sale. If you're new to the channel, I'm Katie. This is my husband, Bill. We literally just got back from a two-week trip, yeah. Florida to Maine, with our self-converted van, which we converted for about 15 weeks. We're gonna continue traveling as well as building it out, but things change and this is life and we're gonna show you around because you cannot be here so let's show you around we asked our neighbors if they wanted to sell anything else but pretty much selling everything except for this guy <laughs> it's kind of crazy we have our whole kitchen set up here our our fishy everything needs to go some outdoor stuff You're adjusting so well to any sorts of change. The estate sale didn't quite go as we thought it would. The estate sale had this weekend was crazy. Uh, it was a uh, every day was pretty busy when it first opened. Sunday was like just dead all the day, and I didn't sell any of the large stuff that I really planned on selling. But it kind of sucked. But I got rid of a bunch of little stuff. We made some money. I mean, it's not like it wasn't like a complete flop. We made a few bucks. East Coast vacation was pretty much for nothing. Cause am I relaxed? No! Everybody's thinking, we're moving into the van, they're like, wow, this is so brave of you. No, this is not our intention, this was not the plan with us having the van, it was more for travel purposes uh, rather than moving in it full time. But, we were on our East Coast travel, if you haven't seen the video, I'll link it here somewhere. We were on our way back from Washington where our landlord hit us up and let us know like, hey, by the way, we're raising the rent which we expected, and he's been promising an entire year to raise it up $100, we were okay with that. So we got the news he was gonna raise it up $300. We were not willing to agree for an entire annual lease with him under those conditions. He then let us know two days later to vacate our apartment within the next 12 days, which is actually illegal. Bill's always giving him credit. Well, and he, found, well, he says he found a tenant, I believe it's probably bullshit, but yeah, he gave us 12 days. 12 we, days. We can get to the three days, probably. Yeah, but he's not giving us those right now. He said that if we're planning to stay any longer, it would be $200 per day. No, thank you. We actually just wanted to get home and finish our build. And here we are. I can't forget my shoes. It feels like home, you know? It's like nobody's gonna steal it anyways. We just went for a little stroll and picked up some trashy doodles because we need to have a break from our moving madness look at, look at that. all right on to on to the moving madness at least we got rid of our couch that was the biggest item we have had we've had left the recyclables are recyclable most of it is recyclable no Oh my gosh! Yay, success! I know what. You got your own outfit. Yeah, good job. This is goodbye. We're exhausted. We moved everything now into our cars. We're gonna live up out of our cars until like tomorrow or so. We had to be out by tonight, unless we wanted to pay $200 per day, which we were not going to do. So we had options, but they were really not smart or fair, I don't think. Good morning, Lokers. We spent the first night in our moving van. You're happy because you're a van dog again. It's just ridiculous. We parked right next to our storage unit. We got here like after midnight at one or something like that. Didn't really feel like unpacking anymore. So that's what we're doing first thing this morning. Hoping we have enough room in our storage unit to actually fit everything. We'll see about that. <laughs> Definitely 
currently doing some old people stuff right now. We got our beach chairs out and went to Cape Canaveral and we're watching the space launch, rocket launch. We want to know. All the deets. The Falcon 9 Block 5 carrying a Korean Pathfinder Lunar Orbiter. Orbiter. It was sicko Miko if we would have turned on our cameras. I still think it was sicko Miko. I didn't come for the video. I came for the video. Um, either it's on camera or it never happens. It's on camera, just after the cool part. First stage was a success. 20 minutes from now we should have deployment or something, I think. Some sort of action, I don't know. That's what's going on right now. For those of you wondering how we cook in the van, that's easy. We're just using Florida's heat to cook up our stuff in the front shield. Ready to eat. Let's do this. If you can see the van, drop a comment below. We made it! Also, I think we never introduced you to the term Sicko Miko. I love rhyming everything, so Sicko Miko is actually just sick. I mean, Sicko Miko. Thank you for cleaning up my surfboard. Good morning from Daytona. Who would have thought that we ran out of battery tonight for the first time? I mean, not run out of battery completely, but the battery is set in a way that, after that about 60% it's shutting down. So. I didn't even know what was going on. Bill woke me up because the AC wasn't running and it was getting hot in here because we're in Florida. If you remember our van build window series, you might remember that it took me weeks to overcome how the windows looked and I was actually pretty satisfied with the bunk windows. I might take it back though because this just happened. If it's working now because I it's see. on camera, that would be awesome because I'll just turn on the camera for the rest of my life. Yeah, I know. We just pulled up to this beautiful site and this is our view to eat lunch. What? Good morning. Those were some exciting past weeks. We definitely didn't expect to come back to those kind of news and move all our stuff out and actually not find housing in that short period of time. But it is what it is, we're making the best out of it. We are actually now glad for the first time that we put such a huge battery bank into our van. In the beginning we didn't quite know how many amps or watts or whatever we would pull and need and now it just has proven itself pretty convenient. I think it all had a happy ending now that we traveled the northeast coast of Florida. 
and we're headed back to Jacksonville now which is still sort of our home base especially since our storage unit and stuff is there and then we're actually gonna head further south any ideas where we're gonna go next thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like hanging out with us hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next week